and sisters in Green Bay are going green. Yeah, Emily Deem is live with more. Good morning, Em. Rachel, Pete, my hood is up now. The rain is starting to fall out here in Green Bay. If you take a look behind me, you can see some workers even had to change into some rain gear because the drops are falling. So no matter rain or shine, these workers are working on a solar power project actually behind the St. Francis um, convent. And so I'm here with Jesse Mikul Mikulski this morning. Jesse, Elon Electric is working on this project with the Sisters of St. Francis of the Holy Cross. It's cloudy out here. We need the sun for this, but you say these still work in our climate. Yeah, the, the sun is obviously ideal. We, we want sunny conditions for the system to produce at full capacity. Um, even on days like today, the, the system's still going to uh, generate some energy. It, it'll be a reduced amount, but we'll still have some energy production so they don't completely shut off in the rain. So let's talk about this project. Um, there are three rows, but they're all different sizes. Tell me about the setup. Uh, the way the land is laid out here, we wanted to have uh, use up as little space as we could while still leaving the rest of the land that the sisters own here for future development use. Um, in the particular area we're in, we have three different lengths of rows to minimize our impact on what land we use. And also because to the south of the array, we've got a tree line um, and we need to, to stay as far away from that as we can. So the closer we get to the trees, the shorter our rows are. So what are the crews doing off in the distance? What are they working on right now? Uh, right now they're installing uh, the first couple modules on the middle row of panels. Um, initially, we started with all the racking. Once we get all the racking installed and square and straight, um, that usually is what takes the longest. And the modules, uh, as anybody saw this morning, once we get to the modules, they, they go up pretty quick. Yeah, and we want to introduce you to Sister Rose Yachman. She has her umbrella this morning. Thank you for being with us, Sister. Uh, let's talk about this project and the land that we're on. This is going to be an educational tool. Correct. Uh, we're going to have a walking path along here and invite the public to uh, view the solar panels. We're going to put up signs and plaques so that they can learn how solar energy is generated and also Hopefully we inspire others to be creative about using sustainability. On Earth Day, Tuesday this week, you got to see this up close and personal for pretty much the first time. What was that like for you and the sisters? Oh, it was very exciting because we've been working on this more than a year. This is a wonderful project and we're really happy that it's it, that we could introduce it on Earth Day. As Sisters of St. Francis, he's the saint of ecology, St. Francis of Assisi, the saint of ecology, and we, we want to share our values about sustainability and that's your mission that that is our mission our mission is following the values of st francis saving our earth saving the resources sources of our earth and education we've been in education all along so along with that we want to educate others about our project sister thank you for being with us and they hope to have this done by the end of may and you know you love to watch good day wisconsin during the week but be sure to watch us on the weekend as well we are going to be cooking with you this weekend we have some guests coming in on saturday we're going to be making some spring salads that should be awesome join us from six to nine on both saturday and sunday rachel pete will send it back to you thanks sam